Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back I'm Rashid here And this is Cendana Apparel For those of you who are still new here Don't forget to subscribe to our channel And click the notification button So you guys don't miss out Any new content from us Okay So basically today We're gonna show you The basic spot color separation For screen printing Using Adobe Illustrator CS6 Okay This is the manual separation Okay uh, this is only the example, okay. The example for beginners to separate uh, the image for screen printing, okay. Separate the design to make a film for screen printing, okay. Uh, let's say if the customers uh, give you only a JPEG, okay, JPEG picture, and they want to see screen the uh, image on their t shirt, okay. So, this is the example of the JPEG image. So, first of all we must convert the jpeg to vector like this okay i can convert the image to vector like this because of the resolution of the image is high okay make sure the resolution of the image is high so then you can easily convert using live trace to become vector like this okay so for example the right side of the image i already uh, live trace the image to become a three color vector okay three color vector uh, red uh, blue and also uh, black okay so first of all click on the image go to image trace drop down button here and select how many colors you want the image to have okay for example on the right side I'm gonna uh, image trace the design for three colors only because i'm going to show you the example on how i create the film for screen printing okay how i separate the design okay image trace and then three color only wait a minute okay so this is the image that have been traced using uh, live trace to become a vector okay so now this is a vector first of all click on the image that has been traced and don't forget to click the expand button up here okay click expand and then the image will become a vector click expand okay so now you can delete the part that you don't want in my cases for this example i delete the background okay so select the background click delete double click again and then only select the shoes okay i just want the shoes to be the design to be separated so i change the colors to this okay i change the color to this one so okay this one is a vector already so let's separate this image uh, to become a film on your screen printing okay so first of all the design i want to six screen is on a4 size so make sure the artboard is a4 size okay click on the artboard tool here artboard tool make sure it is a4 size okay a4 size and for trade or landscape i think i'm gonna use landscape okay okay and then <coughs> center the design center the design align the design on your artboard center and then fit your uh, design in your artboard let's say usually on a four size design i use only 10 inch okay 10 inch 10 inch okay okay so now we got the design okay the design is only three color okay this is for tutorial for beginners only uh, there are many ways to separate uh, the design you can use photoshop or you can use the other ways so this is only one of the ways that you can use okay uh, first of all uh, you can add new layer click the layer tools here add new layer okay create the new layer and this one you can name it as uh, marking okay you're gonna do the marking layer first uh, go to marking Okay, this is the layer is design. Okay, this is the design layer. Design. Okay, go to marking. And then create your marking in marking layer. Okay, this is for the registration mark. Okay, 
okay this is my registration mark uh, two point and then I copy and paste it and then make it vertical uh, okay and make it four point okay so group group the line and then copy the line press alternate or common hold it and drag it on the bottom okay so this is the registration mark okay then select all the design select all the design align it to center of the artboard okay align to center of the artboard select all the design okay all the design and all the registration mark the top and the bottom one and align it uh, together on your artboard okay okay and then group the registration mark group the registration mark control or command g to group it okay so this is the layer of your registration mark okay this is the layer of your registration mark okay you can lock this layer so the marking the registration mark uh, when we accidentally move while you separate uh, the other colors okay so uh, let's see we got three colors here so let's create a new layer let's create a new layer okay first of all i'm going to delete this one this is not in use for now so uh create a new layer i'm going to name this as uh, red okay red layer uh blue and black red uh blue and the last one is black okay last one is black okay so now we got the layer of marking marking here you can see the layer of marking uh, black blue and red first of all i think i'm gonna go to red okay press y okay press y press y uh, y is a magic one if you don't understand why i press y okay mm, y is a short key or hot key for a magic one uh, you want to select color black okay select color black click on black okay single click on black and then control or common x okay control or command x to cut the black color all the black color will cut and then you're going to paste it to the black layer okay black layer and then control or common f control or common f is the short key to place the item that we have been cut and place it directly on the same spot but this one is on the other layer okay it is on the same position but in the other layers okay okay the other one uh, i'm gonna select uh, red color sorry uh, blue color okay go to blue channel okay blue layers and then uh, again click y sorry press y and then click on the blue color okay click on the blue color so now we have selected all the blue colors uh, in the design and then control or common x control or common x to cut the colors go to blue here go to blue here make sure you paste at the blue here just now we are in the layer of the design so we cut the blue colors to paste on the blue channel okay blue layer sorry okay and then control or common f control or common f to paste on the blue layers okay and the last one is uh, red okay go to red okay red uh, is on the uh, layer design okay so press y and then click on red control or common x control or common x go to red layer go to red layer control or common f okay control or common f okay so uh, let's see what we have done so far okay this layer is the design layer design all the colors just now okay so uh, i'm gonna turn it off because we don't need this anymore okay so this is the 
uh, black layer okay see this is the black layer and this one is a uh, blue layer and the last one is a uh, red layer okay so you got your film already so this is not finished yet uh, after that what we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna change all these colors into black okay because we want to print the film in all black uh, okay uh, before that don't forget to rename the film uh, this one is uh, I'm on the black layer so I'm gonna write down here as black okay black black okay so go to blue layer blue layer okay go to blue layer blue layer okay this is blue okay this is blue copy and paste on the red layer okay this is red okay red okay so let's go what we have done so far let's go and see control or command zero to full screen okay don't forget that hot keys that is very important okay so turn it turn it off turn it off okay so now the first one is the layer for marking okay the layer for marking must be same for all the other colors layer okay and then go to black this is black see black go to blue okay this is blue and go to red this is red okay this is red so you got your film now last one what should we do what should we do last one is we have to change all the colors into black solid black or super black since we gonna print this is as film okay okay uh select all the colors don't worry because when you change all the colors to black you will not be misunderstanding or will not uh, mistaken the colors because you have already write down uh, the colors on each channel okay uh, so, uh, for example this one is black channel you have write down this channel as black uh, this one is blue channel we have write down already the blue channel okay okay turn it all on turn on all of the layers and then select all select all the layers double click on this this fill double click on your fill and change the cmyk into all 100 because we, we want to get a super black film okay change it all to 100 100 cyan 100 magenta 100 yellow and also last one 100 black this step will make your film more darker and your print uh, your expose on block will become more sharp okay click okay oh sorry i didn't select uh, the blue color here select all i control uh, no control okay just press i to select the colors here this one missed out already okay so i click on the top of the color to copy the color okay so now we got a super black film okay so well this is your design okay this is your design this is your final uh, film output okay okay turn off all of it and uh, let's see okay first of all the black channel here black layer here we got the black and then we go to blue we got the blue layer here and then go to red you got the red layer here okay so uh okay that's all this is only for beginners okay uh if you guys have any question don't forget to ask on the comment section down below uh and i assure you i will answer all your question okay so stay tuned and see you guys again assalamualaikum